Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Mm. And I'm drinking out of my Coffee in the Word mug. <laughs> so, anyway, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is June 30th already. My goodness, the year is already halfway over. Oh, that is good stuff. All right, well, this morning... And, well, you know, maybe an introduction here. Um, if this is your first time seeing this, my name is John Guru, and I'm from Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas. And every morning I get up and read from the Revised Common Lectionary. And if you look on the description of the video, there'll be a link to our church website, a link to where you can get the Revised Common Lectionary on your smart device, and also a link to, to the Pray Now app, and I use that afterwards for the prayer of the day. So this morning, we're going to start off in Psalm 88, and then we have a reading in 2 Kings, and then we're going to the Gospel of Mark. So, awesome. Let's get started. And uh, I'm reading from the English Standard Version. <clears throat> there we go. Get a little coffee here before I get started. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Starting off with Psalm 88, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So here we go. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry out day and night before You. Let my prayer come before You. Incline Your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Sheol. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am a man who has no strength, like one set loose among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves. Selah. You have you have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me a horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon you, O Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the departed rise up to praise you? Selah. Is your steadfast love declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness, or your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O Lord, cry to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast my soul away? Why do you hide your face from me? Afflicted and close to death, from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am helpless. Your wrath has swept over me. Your dreadful assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. They close in on me together. You have caused my beloved and my friend to shun me. My companions have become darkness. Mm. All right, get a little coffee here. Oh. Uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning. 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 1 through 11. So... In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was, and was at the point of death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die, and you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Now, O Lord, please remember how I have walked before you in faithfulness and with a whole heart, and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him, Turn back and say to Hezekiah, the leader of my people, Thus says the Lord, the God of David your father, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord, 
and I will add 15 years to your life. I will deliver you and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, Bring a cake of figs, and let them take and lay it on the boil, that he may recover. And Hezekiah said to Isaiah, What shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and that I shall go up to the house of the Lord on the third day? And Isaiah said, This shall be a sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he has promised. Shall the shadow go forward ten steps, or go back ten steps? <clears throat> and Hezekiah answered, It is an easy thing for the shadow to lengthen ten steps. Rather, let the shadow go back ten steps. And Isaiah the prophet called to the Lord, and he brought the shadow back ten steps by which it had gone on the steps of Ahaz. Mm. All right, let me get a little coffee here. Oh. All right, the New Testament. Uh, we're going to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 14 through 29. So here we go. And when they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them, and scribes arguing with them. And immediately all the crowd, when they saw him, were greatly amazed, and ran up to him and greeted him. And he asked them, What are you arguing about with them? And someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, <clears throat> I brought my son to you, for he has a spirit that makes him mute. And whenever it seizes him, it throws him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. So I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when, <clears throat> and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell, fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often cast him into the fire and into water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, <clears throat> If you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that the crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, Come out of him, and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this, can, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. Mm. And this is the word of the Lord. Next, let's go to the Pray Now app. Let us pray. Lord God, creator of heaven and earth, you open Peter's eyes to see all of creation, that all of creation is good and to be used by your people for their delight and joy. Open our eyes to see that our bodies, restored by you in holy baptism, proclaim the goodness of your creative will, that in paradise we will come to the fullness of what you created us to be. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. We're, we're, it's Wednesday. We're almost halfway through. I guess around lunchtime we'll be officially halfway through the week. So, anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and go get ready for work. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.